It is the morning of day 30. We've been here for 30 days. Still can't even believe it, time flies. But another great thing about today is that we have nothing but paddling to do. And we have decent weather right now. We woke up to blue skies, some clouds came in, but this is two days in a row. This is unheard about here. Last night we camped on this sand spit right beside this river. This entire section of the river, every corner there's this like a gravel bar or sandbar. So camping is pretty easy here and lots of dry wood as well. Oh. <laughs> Does it not hurt? No! Like it's it's a little more sore today, but it really doesn't hurt. <laughs> Crazy, right? Oh, dude. So this is what happened to your ankle? Yeah, this is what happened. This happened when I rolled my ankle on the uh, upper or lower Mastastin River when we were portaging over all these waterfalls. And it happened about halfway through the day. And uh, luckily there were only two or three more portages left and the guys helped me out. And I definitely uh, probably overstressed a little bit and that's how I got this nice, uh, nice bruise on her. But she's feeling good today and we have 50K of pad lane or so to do. So give a little break and it'll be fine in no time. Boys, what's going on? We're paddling through mountains right now. It's ridiculous. Constant, we don't even really need to paddle. These are huge, these are copper mountains. What river are we coming up to now? We are on route to the Kogaluk. We've been waiting for this point for a long time. Almost at the Kogaluk. Woo! smokes. All right, so we just pulled over at a little uh, sand spit at the side of the river, and we're just entering into Cabot Lake, another massive lake that we have to paddle. Tons of mountains around it, and uh, the wind might be going in our direction, so we might even be able to raft up, and we're gonna try to build a sail so that we can get down the lake. Those should work for a sail, eh? I think so. They're nice and strong.
We're just having some quick lunch here before we launch our newly built pirate ship onto Cabot Lake. Remember when you thought you were a pirate? Hey, you actually get to be a pirate. Finally. Give the kids back home an R. R. just been sailing our way down Cabot Lake for a couple hours now, it must be, and uh, we were starting to get hungry, but instead of pulling over, we decided, since we're on a sailboat now, we can actually uh, just get a boil going in the canoe. Chef, what do you have for us today? Uh, we're going to do some um, poop your pants, strong coffee, and... Uh, some leftovers and noodles and soup kind of thing, I believe. It's gonna be delicious. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Now everyone wants to know, what is that off the side of your beard right now? Oh, is there still food there? Yeah, there's still food there. Oh yeah. Little bonus hummus. Little leftovers. Little savor for laters. Yeah. Yeah, and just leave that there. He executes the first pour almost perfectly. Oh. oh, he botched it, didn't he? Very well done. What can the judges say? 
Thank you, sir. Just launch it. You always keep the boat straight. Try it. Oh, this is so stressful right now. Oh, no. Bring it back. There you go. Here you go, sir. Enjoy your coffee today. Thank you very much. Cheers. For this experience here, sail down Cabot Lake. Oh, five grand. Yeah. This Moroccan dish really made it look interesting. You rethink of this one? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you gotta do it, man. You can dive in, or what's your strategy? Oh, it's most likely to have a heart attack, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go low splash, though, right, for the boys? Woo! <laughs> 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 How was that? Oh, oh she's nice. Oh, woo! <laughs> All right, so a bit of an update for you guys. The wind has changed directions on Cabot Lake. We made it like probably three quarters of the way down the lake, but then the wind died. And so we weren't really moving at all. And then immediately after, the wind switched directions and we're back to our classic headwinds again. So uh, we've broken off from our other vessel and we're just paddling down until we get to the end of the lake. Still some incredible views, but we are once again battling the headwinds. So we made it to the other side of Cabot Lake and we found ourselves a beach site for the night. Um, when we first arrived there was actually a black bear on this site, little guy. He was just running around checking out what's going on. We think he may have showed up a second time. We definitely saw a second bear on the other side of the beach but we think it could be the same one. Um, yeah, so we're just, we've got all the tents set up behind me over here. And uh, Noah's making us some chowder for dinner. So I'm gonna go see what's going on in the kitchen. All right guys, dinner's ready. Unreal. What's on the menu tonight? We got a new chowder with no fish. It's a bacon chowder. Bacon chowder. The boys are eating well tonight. Day 30. Top of the mall. Oh, cheers, man. Thank you. Did it rain out here for a bit this morning? It sprinkled. Of course it did. Yeah. Like, I came out this morning, it looked like this, and I'm like, it's about to pour, so, like, I got this fire going, sat here, and didn't. And I swear, like, as soon as you're like, coffee's ready, it was like, click, 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 click. I was like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Morning, Chris. Morning. Good morning. When I heard you yell, coffee's ready, and then like rain started pitter patter, I'm like, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna move. Yeah, they're right back to our normal weather out here. Yeah. It's okay, we had two days. We actually, like, two perfect days. Like, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> It'll yeah. probably pour the rest of the trip, but, like, I'll still be happy. <laughs> Might as well make another round of cost. Yeah. Might as well. No, and I, I'd go fresh beans as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you're going fre fully fresh grounds? Yeah. Man. Luxury here on Cabot Lake, we can do anything we want. Yeah, you guys are really high up the top. My toes. Should have taken better care of it yesterday, but... Yeah, you probably could have even taped it up in the boat. heard rumors about the Kogluk being great for fishing. And with no portages, Alex and I knew that today would be a big fishing day. FRP. Boys, we're going barbless out here, so the fishing is going to be a little tougher, but it's better on the fish's mouths. I definitely could have brought you closer to that Eddie, but I'm, I'm trying to film at the same time. I just got a trout on a top water fly. The Royal Wolf. Touched him. Count it. Count <laughs> it. Is he off? He's off. Oh man, that was still so sick. I gave him a little swipe on his way out, so I think that counts. I think I'm gonna count it. Yeah. Nice fish. Thanks, man. I don't know if it was a PB, but it was definitely a nice fish. On the on the fly too. On the fly. Hey, hey, hey. All right, Alex is on a personal best brook trout on a homemade tide fly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah. On my homemade zonker. And I ain't taking anybody. Come on, buddy. Yes. Oh my gosh. First fish on the mouse. Oh man, so fun. Oh buddy. Oh my god, on the mouse. Looks like a decent sized one. First fish on the mouse. On the mouse. Oh yeah, buddy. Man. Good one? Holy, your rod is bent. Oh, oh man. 
again. <laughs> oh man, such a good play. How's it feel? It was amazing. Such a good fight. Oh my god. This might also be my biggest brook trout ever. Don't say it yeah, man. You don't have it in the boat. I don't even have a strategy to get this back in the boat. Dude! Oh my god! I'm gonna roll Personal best. On, on the mouse! mouse. On, the <laughs> on a mouse! Dude, that was incredible. That was such a fight. As soon as he set as soon as I set the hook on him, he just took off. I've never I've never had a fight like that on the fly. So we got a measure on her. How big was she? 20 inches. A 20 inch brook trout. Personal best. On a mouse. In the most ideal conditions I could possibly even dream of. So awesome. Doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. Maybe we should pull over and just take a breather. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. That was awesome, man. I'm gonna roll down the river now. Brook trout mousing at its finest. I'm gonna head to the place where I know I belong. I belong. I'm gonna see my heart beating with the freedom of the love of the home that I know is where I'm from. Wow. Oh my god. No. He's still going for it. You got one. That was insane. I saw that happen. That is a big fish that Alex is struggling with. Oh my god! They're everywhere right now. They're just friggin' smoking mice. Holy smokes. Oh! I shouldn't have rushed that. No. I was just like trying to get him in. <laughs> you just lost like two personal best brook trout. Oh, oh my god. In less god. than two minutes. Oh. What the hell, man? Buddy? Man, what the heck is happening right now? There be another big one in there. Yeah, they're all big. Alex is back on.
What's the strategy this time? Those are my least favorite head shakes when they just do spirals. It's a big fish. You got him. Oh my gosh. Woo! Beautiful. So awesome. On. Oh man. dude nice fish monster so we made it to camp Dave and Chris got here a little before us because me and Alice got stuck in a honey hole for a couple hours we were just hammering those brook trout on on mice patterns which is absolutely the best way to, to catch a brook trout ever. I'm saying that, it's a fact. And we happen to do it and it's been an amazing day brook trout fishing. Absolutely, another gorgeous day. It's three days in a row. Did not even think that's possible. But now we're just having <clears throat> a little brook trout for dinner as well as Chris is getting creative in the kitchen. He's been baking stuff. Don't really know what, it looks like there's blueberries in there though. Overall an amazing day. Did not complain, this is one of the best days ever. Chris, you're getting creative in the kitchen tonight. What's going on here? Well, I went through my stock of what I had and realized I had a little bit of extra flour. So I decided to kick things up a notch because we had a nice day. We got a um, blueberry cake going over here. Oh my gosh. She's uh, just cooling off now, but be ready to eat soon for dessert. And we got uh, switched up the bannock a little bit and made little bread loaves for everyone. Cooking in the reflector room right now. Chef Chris, back at it again. <laughs> Mice don't swim in the morning, do they? All right, so it is day 31 out here. It's 32, isn't it? 32. <laughs> Today is day 32, and we've officially spent more than 1 12th of 2019 in Labrador. Noah and I tried to get on the water a little bit earlier than the other guys this morning. We're hoping that the mouse bite is still on out here. Um, that's yet to be determined. The guys are just shortly behind us and we're making our way to the ocean today. Uh, we got 17 kilometers or so left on the Kogaluk. We're gonna end up at a waterfall at some point and then uh, we portage that waterfall. Then it's some ocean paddling for the boys for the next couple days till we get to Nain. Thank you. 
All right, so we just came around a corner on the Kogaluk, and there is a set of rapids here for sure. And we're wondering, there's a good chance that this could be the waterfall that flows out towards the ocean. It's 100% the waterfall. So since we've been traveling with eight paddles, they've been a huge burden on portages. So what we've been doing for the last three or four weeks was we wrapped them all together into this big lump of, of wood and then throw it over a pack, like a bare barrel is the best because of the flat top. It gets rid of all the extra stuff that you have to keep in your hands. What about the fishing rods? Fishing rods we isolate so they're not with the, with the um, paddles just in case they get too banged up. So we wrap them up, put them back in their cases, the fly rods, oh, and man, put it, strap it on top of right a dry bag. Face first, right into it. Oh yeah. Do you want the green bag or the canoe? Because no man should have to do both. <laughs> I'll take the canoe. No, I'm that green bag sucks. It sucks so much. <laughs> it's the worst bag we have. It sucks is that green so bag. bad that I'd rather Take the canoe. Yeah, and normally I know I help you lift it up, but I think I need to film you. Yeah. Noah versus the green bag. Final round. Ping, ping, ping. I'm gonna bring it up. I gotta do one of these. <laughs> yeah. it pops it up. Throw it off the knee. Oh my god. In the middle section here, to keep your chest together broke on like this the first week so as you walk it opens up your chest and your arms go numb relatively fast compared to the other packs but of course you don't just take the green bag eh whenever you should go paddles they'll have more support than these bags yeah it looks like behind your neck there there is a nice little home that they could be nestled into This will be a fun kilometer. <laughs> Make sure to have fun out there. It's the last portage. Dave, you got quite the haul going on here. Yeah, I'm trying to maximize. I'm trying to get this here uh, into the scrap here that I can't actually see. I think you got it. I think I got it. Nice. And then that frees up a hand to carry, uh, I don't know, maybe a pelican case today. Oh my gosh. See, it's really important to leave one hand at least free swipe the bugs and to catch yourself when you fall oh well, yeah i'm gonna fall but when you fall you learn to just throw everything in the air and just go with it just let yourself fall here we go good luck out there man see you on the other side Dave's first cast on the other side of the Kogaluk, massive waterfall, are some massive fish. Noel might have a personal best brook trout on a homemade fly. Yeah, buddy. Wow. Hell yeah. What a beautiful fish. So we have decided that we are going to camp at this set of waterfalls tonight. No one and I are just out fishing right now. I'm fishing, he's catching. And we're just having a, a chill night. We'll be starting on the ocean tomorrow and uh, we figured there was no need to rush that. So we are staying put for now and enjoying this beautiful campsite. What do you got? Nice brook trout on a lure that my buddy Steve made for me. That's beautiful. Gorgeous fish.
what are you eating on day 32? Day 32, here we are thinking last night, day 31, Chris has already outdone himself. I didn't think it could possibly get any better. Welcome to day 32, it just got a little bit better. Chris has made us a poutine using a loaf of bread that he made last night fresh, Vermont cheddar cheese down here, and a gravy that he threw some ground beef in because he's been hoarding ground beef. Chris, how do you keep outdoing yourself with these meals? Where, where's the inspiration come from? <laughs> Sitting in a canoe, just running through your head. I have these ingredients, I'm starving. What can I do? That's one of the benefits of just paddling. Yeah. The mind just goes places. Starving canoeists are the best people to make food for because they love everything. I often hoard food, such as candy bars and granola bars. Today I was up to five bars and I kept keep a pretty steady steady amount of chocolate bars in my one of my pouches at all points. When we stopped at our cabin, I noticed there was some gravy uh, mix in one of the little barrels there, so I nabbed that, hoarded it for later, thinking it might come in handy, and it did. So, there's your uh, camping lesson, always hoard your food. You get surprises on day 32. Day 24, and you busted out eight days later for the boys. Yeah, it's a surprise. It's awesome, man. Got a horse. So good. Hmm. Poutine and waterfalls. Classic poutine incher. It's been the average size out here, but it's just some are more colorful than others. It's almost like every cast. So much fun. Good world. So much fun. Thank you.